Hey, what's going on YouTube family? This is your man Pristine back with another video. Welcome to the full Pristine review for the Google Pixel 4a. Let's dive right into this thing. Um, the Google Pixel 4a for me kind of redefined, uh, you know, uh, uh, what one's necessities really is in a device and also the form factor, you know, just it kind of reiterated the importance of you know, making sure that you get a device that is the form factor, the form factor that you want, because comfort is is everything. And I know that, you know, here in 2021, you know, in most cases, phones are really, really big. But that's not really the case for the Pixel 4a here. And I think that this is a sweet spot for a lot of people. Definitely me, given the fact that I'm small in stature, I've got small hands. And so, you know, I've gotten used to wielding you know, uh, uh, bigger devices. But I mean, it's nice and refreshing every now and then to get something that is is, is compact, but still a beast with really no compromises. And it's gonna give you pretty much everything that you're gonna want and need out of your smart device. Now, uh, in typical, you know, fashion, you know, I just wanna read down some of the specs real quick, just to remind you guys exactly what the Pixel 4a here is packing. Now, we've got a 5.8 inch 1080p by 2340 pixel OLED display. This is a 19.5, um, or I'm sorry, yeah, 19.5 by nine aspect ratio uh, with a 443 PPI pixel density. We've got Corning Gorilla Glass 3 on the front. We've got a plastic back. Um, and this phone is 143 grams, 5.04 ounces. I mean, so it's a little, it's a, it's a featherweight, but I mean, don't get it confused. I mean, this device definitely packs a big punch, even though it's smaller in stature. Now we've got a Snapdragon 730 chipset. Um, we've got an octa-core CPU, Adreno 618 GPU, Android 10 at the time when it came out, uh, which has now been updated to 11. Um, and you know, it being a pixel device, you're always gonna get the latest software updates and so, and, and all the goodies that, uh, you know, come along with that. I mean, so that's definitely a plus. We've got six, grig, uh, six gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of onboard storage that cannot be expanded. And so there are different gigabyte variants. Obviously, you know, the higher the gigabyte variant, the more you're gonna pay. Uh, speaking of pay, this device, Typically, in, in, in most places, it's $349.99 full retail. Now, I've seen it cheaper. Um, I've seen it at Best Buy for like $299 on sale, which is a great value. Now, me, I got this from Verizon. And for whatever reason, uh, when it came out of Verizon, it was $379.99. So I'm not exactly sure, you know, why the, uh, why the difference in price um, given the fact that it's the same device, but, uh, that's what the business is, but you can get it through Verizon. You can get it unlocked. Um, you can get it on Google Fi, um, on Google's website. Uh, you know, you've got, you know, multiple different ways to get this device. But like I said, the full retail is $349.99, but you should at this point be able to get it for a little cheaper than that, given the fact that it's been out for a little while. Now, um, <clears throat> the build quality, it, even though we've got a, a plastic bag here you know it's kind of it's got like a um like a matte feel to it right and 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 i'm a big fan of this i mean again the, the phone it's it's not a it's not a really big phone it's 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 small in stature and you know i mean just navigating this device is is just a breeze i mean it's just you know i <laughs> yeah how thin it is how light it is, I mean, just how it cur how it's curved from the back around the sides, you know, just to give it an easier hold. And again, I mean, my hands are super small, so you know, something of this form factor for me is uh, is, is 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 great, you know. And I, the the back really, you know, this this device um, really really helped me to appreciate. Uh, rocking a phone without a case you know I'm, I've, I've always preached in in all my videos you know you you want to get a case and a screen protector to protect your investment you know a lot of these phones they're made with glass you know they can drop and if they do drop they'll break and so on and, and you know this this phone i mean of course we've got gorilla glass through in the front and so that could crack but just the feel like it's not a fingerprint magnet the phone it's got some grip ability you know i mean so you can easily hold it 
you know, and, you know, I just, I, I love the way that it looks like, you know, this is, a, it's a plastic bag, but I mean, the fact that it's, it, it's pretty much impossible to smudge it up unless you've got like fresh lotion or Vaseline on your hand or something like that. But I mean, aside from that, I mean, just holding this phone normally, you know, it feels great. Um, I, I, yeah, it just, it's very refreshing. You know, I've always found enjoying holding this phone without the case. You know, I do have a case. I've got a, you know, a, a clear TPU rubber case just to kind of get some grip. Um, but a lot of times I find myself taking it off and, um, and, and I, I feel like I just enjoy the device much more without that case. And so, um, you know, fingerprint sensor rear mounted, it's lightning quick. Um, just really quick, just barely tap it. You can see we're on the lock screen right now, just barely tap that fingerprint sensor. It works 100% of the time. I've had no issues at all with the fingerprint sensor at all whatsoever. Um, performance, this little phone is a beast, right? I mean, the way that it performs, um, no lag, no stutter or anything of that nature, right? Now, I know that some people, you know, may feel like because of the fact that this phone has the Snapdragon 730G, and I understand, you know, some people, they felt some kind of way when the phone was first released and they found out about that and they were like, well, why didn't it have, why didn't it have the Snapdragon 765 or the 750? You know, why isn't it 5G? Um, you know, I, I don't have those answers, but you saw that, you know, later on, you know, Google, they released the Pixel 4a, which is a little bit bigger. It pretty much has the same specifications as the Google uh, Pixel 5, um, which are both 5G devices. Um, there is no higher refresh rate. This is 60 Hertz, but that, does that bother me? Not at all whatsoever. I mean, as you can see, I mean, the phone is very, very, very responsive and I get it. You know, when you've got a higher refresh rate, whether it be 90 or 120, you know, it's good to see that, uh, that smoothness and that fluidity, but you know, I, the pixel here you know after using this device i i was totally fine i i it wasn't one of those things where it was like okay even though i've had it on other devices i felt like i needed it and the fact that this device doesn't have it i never once felt like i need to put it down because of the fact that it doesn't have the higher refresh rate like i said as you can see i mean things move lightning quick you know i do notice that you know, just a little bit of choppiness because I've gotten so accustomed to rocking with phones that have that higher refresh rate. I mean, like my daily driver right now is my my S21 here. And, you know, just <laughs> by default, I mean, this is this is, you know, this is a 120, a 120 hertz refresh rate. And so I've kind of gotten used to that, that smoothness and fluidity. But it's not a determining factor, ladies and gents. It's just it's not at all whatsoever. And um, just pop into some applications I'm connected to my Wi-Fi here at home, um, as you can see, it just popped into Spotify with no problems at all whatsoever. We'll pop into YouTube music. You know, again, these are applications where I've got a lot of, lot of content. And so typically on a lesser powerful device, you know, sometimes, you know, it could take a little bit for applications like that to open up, but you see, I mean, just these, it just, it pops right into it. It takes a little bit of a time, uh, a little bit of time to load it up. But I mean, once it does, once you're in there, you're in there, you know? And so, um, you know, performance for me on this device has been stellar. It's, it's been a one with absolutely no problems at all whatsoever. Um, and uh, I think that, it, I mean, definitely, you know, for the average consumer, I mean, you are going to be totally pleased with the overall performance of this device. Now, again, the swipe gestures you hold up and uh, swipe up to hold to get to all your recents, just pop right back into YouTube music, pop right back into Spotify, we'll pop right back into SoundCloud go right back into YouTube. I mean, you can see everything is, is, is held there in the RAM with no issues whatsoever. I've had tons of, tons of things open at the same time. And the RAM management on this device is just, it's as smooth as butter, right? And, you know, to, to be honest, I mean, this, this, this device, you know, I had this first, obviously, this came out before the Pixel 5. Um, and I got the Pixel 5 and I, you know, I reviewed it. You know, I, I'll drop a link for that down below in the description if you wanna check that out. But 
I didn't hang on to the Pixel 5. And even though the Pixel 5 is offering more, it's a little bit bigger, you know, it's got wireless charging, it's got the high, it's got the 90 hertz refresh rate, you know, it, the cameras are, are a little bit more advanced. You know, man, I mean, I, I felt no need to hang on to the Pixel 5 when I had the 4A and I was already accustomed to using the 4A. And you see, if you've already checked out that video or if you haven't, check it out, you'll see that during the full review for the Pixel 5, I talked a lot about the Pixel 4a here. Matter of fact, I have both devices just sitting here on my desk side by side, and it was hard not to compare them because I'm like, yes, okay, you know, the, the, the main topic of that video was the Pixel 5, but it's like, but how do you how do you justify paying, you know, $649.99 for the Pixel 5 when you got the 4a sitting here at $299 and it does practically the same things. I mean, yeah, it doesn't have as big of a battery. It doesn't have, you know, the higher refresh rate or wireless charging or whatever, but it has all the key essentials that one may need. It's a Pixel device. You're going to get all the latest uh, software updates and everything. I, I just couldn't bring myself to keep the Pixel 5, so I returned it. I'm not even on the front. I returned it. I mean, that's how good this device is. And I understand that the Pixel 4a 5G is out. I've thought about that, but I'm like, eh, you know, I, I'm, I live in Seattle. You know, I understand that, you know, the, the carriers, they've rolled out 5G, but we're not seeing those lightning fast speeds just yet where you can download movies in seconds and do all that type of stuff. So I'm like, you know, I'm still totally fine with, with rocking 4G. And my 5G devices that I do have, you know, I can't even really tell the difference between those devices, you know, between 4G and 5G on those phones. I mean, so, you know, once 5G becomes more of a thing, then I'll put more stock into that. But right now, you know, this this is totally, totally fine. And a lot of devices that I've put up, picked up and put my SIM card in and rocked as a daily driver, I've always wanted to come back to this mainly just because of the the, uh, the 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 aesthetics and the in the build you know just the form factor of this device i mean this device is perfect for me and my particular stature it performs well um it just does everything well you know the build quality all that now cameras on the on the front here we've got an 8 megapixel sensor on the rear we've got a 12.2 single sensor here I mean, this is a pixel. So, I mean, do I even really need to talk too much about the cameras? Do I really need to talk too much about the cameras? Uh, okay, I'm, okay so I'm glad we agree. No, but at the end of this video is where the dedicated camera review is going to be. So, you know, this video is timestamped. If you want to stop the video right now, I don't recommend you do that because I want you to, you know, get the full gist of what I feel about this device and you can't do that unless you watch the whole video. But in case you don't want to finish watching the video and you want to get straight to the camera, then man, you know, stop the video, go down in the, in the description, click on the timestamp and it'll take you right to the, to the, to the, to the camera review. Or you can just scroll, um, just the little red, uh, slider at the bottom of the video here, just roll it to the end. You'll see the camera review and just go ahead and roll the footage at that point. But I mean, the camera on this device is absolutely phenomenal. I've used this camera to take a lot of my thumbnail photos for a lot of the other devices that I've, that I've, um, videos that I've put up, you know, the thumbnail picture, you know, I've used this camera for that. The, I mean, this camera is amazing. And I understand, you know, a lot of times, you know, Google has been taking a lot of heat because of their video. And I gotta say the video, and, and so that was one of the main things that I was looking forward to test. I'm like, what are people talking about? Because to me, the video on this phone is absolutely stunning. The optical image stabilization is, is stabilizing things, y'all. I mean, so, I mean, you know, everything looked magnificent. You know, color colors were on point. The color accuracy was on point. I mean, you know, the different lighting conditions, you know, that there are, you know, the camera was very easily able to adjust to those things without over or under exposing, you know, uh, uh, the actual image that was being displayed. I mean, this camera is just absolutely phenomenal. And again, 299, I mean, you're, you're getting a lot of phone here, you know, for, for, for not a big price at all. And so, like I said, I mean, it just didn't, I couldn't justify the extra money being spent for the Pixel 5 or even the Pixel 4a 5G. The, 5, the 4a 5G is $499. Again, that's a good buy. 
you know, even the Pixel 5 is a good, it's a good device. I mean, I could recommend it, but it's like, why would you want to pay the additional money when you can spend three hundred dollars ladies and gentlemen and you get this package right here man i mean you know if you want a little bit of a bigger display you know i think it just comes down to what you want if you want some of some more of the things that those other devices are offering then great they're there for you but i mean this this is plenty right this is plenty now the battery life we've got a 30 a 3140 milliamp hour battery 3140 it is a little bit of a smaller cell. I can definitely get through a full day, you know, um, screen on time. I was getting about four and a half hours, which is, which is pretty damn good, you know, for how small the cell is given the fact that nowadays we're seeing, you know, batteries, 4,500, 5,000, sometimes higher. Some of these gaming devices, you know, they got, you know, 6,000 milliamp hour batteries, you know, just to keep your game in, you know, just, you know, for hardcore usage. You know, 3140, this is a small device. I mean, so you don't expect there to be a, 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 tr a, a, a humongous battery, but the battery, it lasts. You know, this Snapdragon 730 chipset, you know, it's, it's, it's optimized very well for battery sustainability. And even with really, really hard usage on this device, I mean, I could not kill it. I mean, every day at the end of the day, I still was about, you know, 25, 30%, which isn't bad, which isn't bad at all. Um, so, you know, obviously, you know, the more you use your device, if you're heavy on it, then yeah, you're probably gonna wanna keep your charger with you. You know, we do have quick charge capability. Um, it's USB power delivery 2.0. I can't remember the amount of what the, um, it's an 18 watt fast charger that comes included in the box. I mean, so, you know, you are able to charge this bad boy up pretty fast. Um, and another thing, I just, I like the aesthetics. I mean, you know, the, the, the little neon green power button right there, right? I mean, just an indication that, yeah, that's the power button. You know, a little bit of a different uh, feel. Typically on, on a lot of the phones, the power button is on the bottom and then the volume rocker sits on top of it. Well, on this device here, you've got the volume rocker on the bottom of the right side, and then you've got the power button sitting up top. Um, so, you know, I'm a fan of that. And I just like the fact that it's a, it's a different color. Right. I mean, so, you know, a lot of a lot of the, the buttons on devices, they're the same color. And in order, in order to distinguish, I mean, a lot of times the power button will have some rigidity. This one is just it's flat. It's smooth. There's no rigidity. But the fact is, it's a different color. I mean, so it's obvious that that's the power button. I mean, so if you if you thought that was the volume rocker. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. I hope you didn't think that. All right. Now, um, the only color, unfortunately, that you can get this phone is in, is uh, just black. You know, it would be, it would have been nice to get some different colors. Um, you know, the Pixel Five. You know, you've got black. I think I I just saw. Um, I think about a, a week or two ago, you can buy the Pixel Five or the Four A Five G in in a white color, clearly white, which really looks good. Um, and then you know, the Pixel Five. You've got that um, that green color, which is like a mint green. I was I was a fan of that. I was a fan of that, but like I said, I just couldn't, I couldn't, I, I just couldn't fathom keeping that device after having this. Um, and, uh, you know, even with the Pixel 5, it just made me feel like it was, it was this with a Snapdragon 765 processor in it that was 5G capable with wireless charging. And that was pretty much it. And it's like, okay, I mean, it didn't, it, it wasn't like the, the, the five performed way better than this. So it's like, I just couldn't fathom spending the extra money comfortably. It just, the Pixel 5 just isn't offering enough more than this to justify paying hundreds of dollars more for it. You understand? Um, now, some of the uh, additional features, you know, that I like about this device, of course, when you lock it, you got the always on display right there and you can set that to always be on or you can have it come on. You can set it to come on at a certain time and only be on for a short, a certain amount of time. You can set it to where when you raise up your phone, it comes on and then goes off. Um, but I like the fact that we've got always on display. It shows all your notifications up underneath that. Um, again, the fingerprint reader is, 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 is one of my favorites. The dual stereo speakers, ladies and gentlemen, on this phone, especially given how small it is, these speakers sound amazing. 
the the these dual stereo speakers here let me let me let me cue up like one of my videos and um and uh test and, and just give you guys just a little a little idea of how good these speakers sound one second all right y'all so we've got a speaker here and the earpiece up top right there you can see that and then we've got a bottom firing speaker down here and um And I mean, even just this may not do it justice. This is just one of those things you got to get it in your hand and hear it for yourself. But I mean, humongous sound coming from this little device. So I'm covering the bottom firing speaker right there and I can feel it vibrating on my finger because this thing is knocking. And the other sound is coming out of the earpiece right there. Okay, so I'm gonna take my hand off the bottom firing. Like I'm not really the type to listen to music on my phone, but if you wanted to, if you're that type, the dual stereo speakers on this device is uh, beast mode. You're definitely in for a treat <laughs> with these stereo speakers on this little phone, man. Yeah, um, wow. And you know, that's, that's something that um, you know, the Google devices, you know, they've uh, they've always been known for having those dual stereo speakers. They used to be front facing, um, but now, you know, you've just got one up top and the one bottom firing. And, you know, I don't mind that. You know, it sounds great. Um, you know, <laughs> I mean, this 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 little phone is just um, it's just a beast. Another thing that I love, too, is. Um, some of you may have reservations about this, about, you know, uh, some feel like this phone is always listening to you. And I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if this phone is really always listening to you or when it when it when it senses or when it hears music, then all of a sudden it just clicks into a certain mode to recognize that music is playing. But I love the fact that. Like down here where the battery percentage is, if you're somewhere and music is playing. On the bottom of the display down here, it's going to show what the name of that song is and who the artist is. That to me is so, so, so dope because I am an audiophile. I love music. There, I hear songs all the time that I've never heard before, or maybe I heard the song, but I didn't, knew, I didn't know who the artist was. And so that is so helpful. There's been a lot of music. I've got playlists that I've made just from stuff like that, just being in different environments, music playing in the background. And all I gotta do is glance down at the phone and here it is on the bottom of the display telling me what the name of the song is and who the artist is. And I just go pull it up on Spotify and save it to a playlist. And now I can rock out to that tune whenever I want to. I mean, that that is just, that is so dope. And you know, I, I wasn't quite sure if features like that Google were going to implement on this because, you know, this this is a mid range device. Basically, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, it's a mid range device being ch uh, for 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 uh, uh, budget prices. So there's a budget price point for a mid range device is what I'm trying to say. And um, there's really there's there's really no compromises. I mean, you know, you get the always on display, you get the dual stereo speakers, you get the awesome camera, you get awesome performance. You know, I mean, you're getting that fingerprint sensor that works every time. It's super reliable. You know, you're getting an OLED panel. I mean, I mean, what? I mean, the. Uh, let's see. I'm not exactly sure what the screen to body ratio is on this device, but I mean, it's slim. I mean, you could see, I mean, it's got very slim bezels around the top and the sides. I mean, just pretty much everything about this device is solid, right? This is, this is a, a very, this is a super solid, well-rounded device. I, 
I highly recommend this device to any and everybody. You know, I understand that we're living in a pandemic and even still, you know, a lot of these phones that cost way more than this, I mean, the pandemic hasn't really slowed down people from buying devices. But it's like, if you're on a budget, if you've got the money to spend, but you just don't wanna spend top dollar on a device because you don't have to because there's so many different options, man, the Pixel 4a, ladies and gentlemen, you can go pick this up right now for $299 and, um, and you will be solid, you know, for the people that are majorly affected by COVID and they can't afford a thousand dollar device or a, or a device that costs five, six, seven hundred bucks. You know what I mean? So, you know, you know, 250, 300 is in your price range, man, you can get you one of these for that price. You know, Best Buy, they got these things open box. I'm not exactly sure what the prices are for those, but I mean, they're, I, they gotta be, you know, $249.99, $279.99 or something like that. I mean, you're getting a lot of phone and an excellent value for the money. All right, I can highly recommend this device to any and everybody. Like I said, I had the Pixel 5 for crying out loud. Typically, you know, what I'll do is I'll hang on to, you know, um, you know, like say if I if I if I if I had this and the Pixel 5, typically I would get rid of this if I was going to keep one of them just so I can have the 5 because the 5 is the latest. But I was like, well, I spent with, with taxes and everything. I'm like, I spent seven hundred dollars on the Pixel 5. You know, I got this from Verizon the day it came out. And so I, I spent three seventy nine ninety nine on this. And keeping the Pixel 5 after rocking with this just did not at all justify the extra money that I was paying for the Pixel 5, man. So I, I took it back and got a refund and I, I wasn't missing anything because I got this. I got the latest software. You know what I'm saying? Android 11. I mean, it's a Pixel device. I mean, man, I mean, yeah, man, it, to me, this is a no brainer. It's a no brainer. All right. Get the Pixel 4a, man. That's all I got. All right. <laughs> so um, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to like, share and subscribe to expose yourself to tons of more videos that I've done like this one. Be sure to hit that notifications bell so that every time my videos go live, you'll be the first to get notified. And be sure to check out the video. Get down in the comment section, which is where I'll be posted up at. Let me know of any questions or comments or feedback that you may have. I'd love to chat with you about these devices. And man, let's just keep it clean. Some people can get a little out of hand, a little disrespectful in the comment section. I don't even waste my time dignifying those things with responses. You know, I just keep it pushing, say a prayer for them and just keep it going. All right. So um, that's all I got for the full pristine review for the Pixel 4a. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know, please stay safe. Get spiritually fit. We're definitely living in the last days and keep it pristine in every aspect of your lives. All right. I'm out. Stay tuned because the camera review is rolling right now. I'm out. All right, what's going on, y'all? This is your man, Pristine. So this is the 12.2 megapixel sensor, single sensor on the rear of the Pixel 4a. Yes, we've only got one camera lens and that is not an issue you know we do have two time optical zoom which is what that is right there that is the standard uh, viewfinder view right there so um we do have optical image stabilization pdaf um we do have 4k recording at 30 or 60 frames per second if i'm not mistaken i believe that that is the accurate information um, and as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, it's a nice day here in Seattle. Very beautiful early morning. You know, you still can hear, you know, the, 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 the chickens cockadoodle doing, you know, waking cats up hella early, but, um, yeah, you know, things, things look good. Now, um, One thing that's interesting to me is I know that people over the years have said that the Pixel phones, although they are some of the absolute best when it comes to still shot imagery and photography, that they lack in the recording department. And 
you know, I, I can't I can't say that I concur with that because, you know, I've recorded footage with this phone before and I've gone back and I've looked at it. And like I said, the optical image stabilization seems to work just fine. Um, but the image, the image quality, the, 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 the color accuracy, um, the camera's ability to adjust when light is shining directly into the lens, you know, it, it seems to, you know, focus and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and switch, you know, between, you know, whatever it needs to, to make sure that you're getting the most accurate picture quality possible when other cameras really seem to struggle with this, you know, but I mean, I, I mean, I'm no camera professional by any stretch of the imagination, but I know that I've heard a lot of people talk about how bad or how compromised the video quality is on the pixel devices. And I'm like, yo, this is, this is solid to me. <laughs> this is this is this is solid to me so i i'm not quite sure what you know what people mean when they say certain things like that all i can go off of is what looks good with the naked eye and with what i'm seeing before me is really 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 good image quality here while capturing video and so i'm um, you know, just gonna walk around the side of my house here this little pond is so filthy over here and there's little frogs over here and they be man noisy at night damn frogs but um yeah i mean just the way the way things look here is this this is remarkable in my personal opinion you know sound off in the comments and let me know what you guys think about the imagery while shooting video with the google pixel 4a or any Google Pixel device for that matter. Um, and yeah, I, the car is dirty as hell, man. I need to wash it. Maybe I'll do that today. It's a sunny day. Maybe I'll go ahead and wash the pristine mobile, man. I don't know. We'll see. But um, now I'm going to stop this video. We're going to get some, uh, some selfie video footage with the 8 megapixel sensor. And then we'll close this thing on out. All right? All right, y'all, what's good? Okay, so this is the 8 megapixel selfie sensor on the Pixel 4a. Now, I had to come inside because... This phone doesn't have an IP rating and it just started raining and I don't want to damage my device. So I was like, let me take it on in the inside. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so again, we've got an 8 megapixel sensor here. This is a 2.0, uh, uh, F2.0 aperture. We've got a 24 millimeter wide lens with a 1.12 micron pixel auto HDR 1080p recording at 30 frames per second. Now... Do I care about 4K and all this and that? Nah, man, I'm not really tripping because look at this. Look at this quality. Look at this quality. You know what I'm saying? This is a Pixel camera. And like I said, I've heard a lot of people talking real slick about Pixel cameras. And I'm just, especially when it comes to recording. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the overall image quality with still shots. I mean, it, it doesn't really get too much better than that. But I mean, you know, but recording... The Pixel devices, they get they get raked over the coals, scandalized and maligned when it comes to recording. Now, now look at this. What I look like. I mean, you know, good as usual. You know what I'm saying? The Lord didn't make no mistakes with this one right here, baby. You know what I'm saying? No, but I ain't talking about me, though. I'm just talking about the overall quality. The quality. Right? The quality. What it look like? I mean, yeah, I, I I know what I'm seeing. You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm seeing in this viewfinder. But what it look like to y'all? Things that make me go, hmm. Why don't you do me a little favor and sound off in the comments, baby, about what you're seeing? I mean, because to me, this quality is 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 right on. It's spot on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the uh, the, the 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 overall color reproduction, the detail. I mean, things don't really seem to be over or under saturated. I mean, I, I mean, it's Google. It's a pixel. It's a pixel. You're getting these killer cameras and this picture quality for right now, two ninety nine. Whew. Two ninety nine for these cameras. And just the pure stock Android Google experience, two ninety nine. 
Yeah, yeah. You you heard that right. Two. Nine and nine. Three hundred dollars. Get you all this. Get you all this, baby. Three hundred. Ha. <laughs> so uh, you know, sound off down below in the comments. Let me know what you think about what you're seeing here. You know, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to expose yourself to tons of more videos that I've done like this one. Hit that notifications bell so that every time I drop a video, you can get that notification that Pristine just uploaded and check out that content and get down in the comment section, which is where I'll be chilling at, and let me know what you think about what you saw. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video footage right now and roll the still shot images so i hope you guys enjoy that you always know i got a little something playing in the background to saturate your ears while you're watching so i hope you enjoy the little track of choice by your man pristine and i will catch you guys in the next one all right all right peace um, give me a snack now <laughs> give you a snack now yeah but you're about to eat lunch. I want a snack now. Okay, so you don't want lunch is what you're saying. You don't want lunch. You want a snack. That's not happening because it's lunch time. No, I want a snack. No. Snack time. No, it's not snack time. It's lunch time, no, silly. No, it's snack time. Back up, little snaggle. No. Hmm? I want a snack. Mm -mm, no snacks. I want a snack. Lunch. Mm -mm. lunch. Lunch. No, no, you want lunch? No. Yeah? Lend him back up. I want a snack! <laughs> no snack. I want a snack! I'm recording you. I'm going to show this to mommy and she's going to get you later on. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> you better back up. I'm recording you. You're on video. Hmm? <laughs> London's on video. Lunch, 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 lunch. There you go.